The purpose of this video is to help you understand how nitric oxide therapy can naturally improve cognitive function. With this in mind, we need to understand the key components for both. Let's first address cognitive function and Alzheimer's disease. Emerging science has shown a significant link between cognitive function, cardiovascular disease, and how nitric oxide therapy can help prevent both of them. While cardiovascular disease is still the number one killer of men and women worldwide, Alzheimer's disease has become the number one fear for many people. Why? For two specific reasons. First, we've had to care for loved ones who have slowly lost their mental clarity and in caring for them we have directly experienced the emotional, financial, social and physical costs this disease has had in fragmenting loving relationships. Second, we don't want to personally experience the loss of cognitive function and become a burden to our family. This can become pretty depressing until you understand the following. The answer to improved cognitive function lies in prevention. That's right, you have the power to make a significant difference in how the loss of cognitive function affects you as well as the people around you. There is enough research and clinical data to positively demonstrate that if you properly care for your cardiovascular system, you will substantially reduce your risk for Alzheimer's and many other cognitive issues. And nitric oxide therapy can be a significant factor in both the prevention and reversal of cardiovascular health challenges that also play a role in cognitive function. According to the National Institute on Aging, about 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease. It's the most common cause of dementia among older adults. Dementia is the loss of cognitive functioning, which includes thinking, remembering, and reasoning to the extent that it interferes with your daily life and activities. Again, according to the National Institute on Aging, quote, although we still don't know what starts the Alzheimer's disease process, we do know that damage to the brain begins as many as 10 to 20 years before any problems are evident, end of quote. It's for this very reason why prevention is so critical to your future cognitive health. And the health of your cardiovascular system is one of the keys to prevention. According to Dr. David S. Geldmacher from the October 2010 issue of the Cleveland Clinic Journal of Medicine, quote, rates of dementia of all causes are higher in people with diabetes. He also goes on to say, quote, diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and obesity might lead to dementia in a process abetted by oxidative stress, endothelial dysfunction, insulin resistance, inflammation, adiposity, and subcortical vascular disease. All of these could be targets of intervention to prevent and treat dementia." End of quote. So let's decode this statement as it applies to nitric oxide therapy. To do this, we first need to understand what nitric oxide therapy is all about. The essence of your life is found in your blood and anything that inhibits blood flow will decrease your health. This also applies to a decrease in cognitive function. So what does nitric oxide therapy have to do with blood flow? Everything. In 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers for discovering how the lining of your vascular system called the endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. One of these researchers wrote a book called No More Heart Disease. That researcher is Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, and as you can clearly see by the subtitle of his book, quote, nitric oxide can prevent even reverse heart disease and strokes, end of quote. In the introduction to his book, he goes on to say how he and his colleagues, quote, discovered the atom of cardiovascular health, a tiny molecule called nitric oxide, NO, as it's known by chemists, is produced by the body specifically to help keep arteries and veins free of the plaque that causes stroke and to maintain normal blood pressure by relaxing the arteries, thereby regulating the rate of blood flow and preventing coronaries. Nitric oxide is the body's natural cardiovascular wonder drug. 
End of quote. And nitric oxide therapy is learning how to help your endothelium optimize its production of this natural cardiovascular wonder drug for improved blood flow. Now let's go back and look at Dr. Geldmacher's statement so that you can see how this applies to nitric oxide therapy. I've highlighted oxidative stress, endothelial dysfunction, and subcortical vascular disease. All three of these directly affect the most important tissue of your entire cardiovascular system. That tissue is your endothelium. Continuing with Dr. Geldmacher's statement, I've highlighted the following. Diabetes and high blood sugar levels cause oxidative stress to your endothelium. Hypertension or high blood pressure damages the endothelium. Dyslipidemia or the oxidation of LDL cholesterol causes damage to your endothelium. Each of these three highlighted cardiovascular health issues cause inflammation to the endothelium which lines your blood vessels. As the slide on the screen clearly shows, this inflammation results in plaque formations that grow over time, and this cumulative damage drastically reduces your nitric oxide production. As your endothelium is damaged and your nitric oxide production decreases, so does your blood flow and its ability to bring needed oxygen and nutrients to your cells, tissues, and organ systems. In your skull is a three pound wonder that has a hundred billion neurons sending each other electrical and chemical signals in an orchestrated pattern that creates memories and allows for learning. At about the age of 30 our brains begin to shrink by about a half a percent per year. We usually don't notice this change for years but over time this shrinkage combined with other factors begins to weaken the signals inside our brain. This leads to memory loss which is normal for most people as they age. What is not normal is for this orchestrated electrical and chemical signaling pattern to become so dysfunctional that it leads to dementia diseases like Alzheimer's. Each nerve cell communicates with many other neurons to form networks. These networks of neurons have special jobs. Some help us see, hear, smell, move, and breathe. Other networks are involved in thinking, learning, and remembering. Every network of neurons is like a tiny factory that needs resources, generates energy, performs a function, and eliminates waste. To keep everything running in a coordinated operation requires large amounts of nutrients and oxygen. Of these four basic components, resources, energy, function, and waste, your cardiovascular system and proper blood flow is critical to three of the four components. It's your cardiovascular system that will deliver the needed resources for brain function. Those resources, like oxygen and glucose, are going to provide the energy brain needs to function. And the waste products created by your brain's energy production must be carried away by the circulatory system. This is how nitric oxide therapy can help with cognitive function. By repairing and nourishing your endothelial cells to enhance their ability to properly produce nitric oxide, you can have a significant impact on increasing blood flow. This increased circulation delivers more oxygen and nutrients while properly removing metabolic waste products. Here's an example of what improved blood flow can do for cognitive function. Researchers at the University of Illinois in Urbana put two groups of older adults on two different types of exercise programs. Group one did one hour of aerobic training three times a week. Group two did non-aerobic stretching and toning exercises. MRIs were taken three months later. The aerobic group showed an increase in brain volume and white matter in the frontal lobes where attention and memory are processed. According to Dr. Arthur Kramer, quote, the aerobic exercisers had the brain volumes of people two to three years younger, end of quote. One of the byproducts of increased exercise is stimulating the endothelium to produce higher levels of nitric oxide to improve blood flow. This results in delivering more oxygen and nutrients and providing a better environment for tissues and organs to function, in this case cognitive function. 
While the following study is small, it's significant and what it shows regarding nitric oxide therapy and helping to properly nourish your endothelium to optimize its production of nitric oxide. Here's the edited abstract for this study from Japan. Quote, 16 elderly people with cardiovascular disease, mean age 79 years, who had been living in a nursing home for two to four years were treated with relatively low doses of oral L-arginine, 1.6 grams per day for three months. Their cognitive function was evaluated using the Hasegawa dementia scale before treatment started, after three months of treatment, and finally three months after treatment stopped. The HDS is a widely used measure in Japan. A score of 30 is considered normal, while a score of 20 or lower indicates dementia. After three months of treatment with l 9 cognitive function improved significantly in all subjects from a mean of 16 to 23. Within three months of stopping l 9 treatment, the HDS score returned to pre-treatment levels. Lipid peroxide levels, an indicator of oxidative stress, also declined significantly during the l 9 treatment compared with the baseline and post-treatment measurements. The authors hypothesized that l 9 treatment improved cognitive function by increasing nitric oxide levels, by reducing oxidative stress, or both. End of quote. To again highlight how important nitric oxide therapy is in improving blood flow and the impact it can have on cognitive function, we have this from the Mayo Clinic. Quote, if you look at any risk factor for cardiovascular disease, the standard risk factors like high cholesterol, diabetes, hypertension, smoking, sedentary lifestyle, aging, all of these have been associated with loss of nitric oxide in the endothelium, the linings of blood vessels, a condition known as endothelial dysfunction. Once you lose that baseline of nitric oxide, you see the increase in APP, amyloid precursor protein, and base 1, an enzyme that together with amyloid precursor protein helps to create Alzheimer's plaque, and the increase in amyloid beta generation. As we've shared with you, the proper application of nitric oxide therapy can have a profound benefit on helping people naturally improve cognitive function. This does not mean that nitric oxide therapy will cure or reverse Alzheimer's disease. What it does mean is that when properly applied, nitric oxide therapy can improve blood flow and the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to help cells, tissues, and organ systems function better. This can then facilitate improved cognitive function. It's with this in mind that we implemented the Million Lives Project. Our goal is to help a million people or more understand how they could effectively use nitric oxide therapy to significantly improve their overall health. How nitric oxide therapy can reduce your risk for cardiovascular health concerns like high blood pressure, diabetes, sexual and cognitive function issues, and poor wound healing. One of the primary ways you can do this is through our ebook, which is titled Empower Your Heart with Breakthrough Nitric Oxide Therapy. To help us accomplish this goal, we would ask you to do one or more of the following. If you found value in the information contained in this YouTube video on nitric oxide therapy, then please share it with others. Second, if you want to apply nitric oxide therapy to help you address your cardiovascular health concerns or the concerns of family and friends, then please contact the person who shared this information with you. They can help you obtain our ebook on nitric oxide therapy. Third, if you have a passion for helping others improve their health, then consider joining our Synergy family. Part of our mission statement is blessing lives with better health. If this interests you, then contact the person who shared this information with you. Thank you for watching and being a part of the Million Lives Project as we help others understand nitric oxide therapy and how it can be a natural way to improve all aspects of their cardiovascular health.